So verses from Mark chapter 6. The apostles gathered round Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going, that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognised them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. The account continues with the feeding of the 5,000 miracle and following that Jesus walking on the water and then it concludes with these verses. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognised Jesus. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, to villages, towns or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched him were healed. Do you break the fourth commandment? There's been a lot of breaking the fourth commandment in the last few months, I think. Not just breaking it either, but absolutely smashing it. Are you worried? Or are you just now desperately trying to remember what the fourth commandment actually is? I'll tell you, don't worry. Here we go. The fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labour and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. God had a rest on day seven and suggests it's a good idea for us to take a break too. Fourth commandment, take a break. So, do you ever, or never, or sometimes have a day of rest, a break, a time out, a refresh? It's not really about what we do on a Sunday. That's, in my opinion, a red herring. You need to get some milk, have a coffee, or do your work on Sunday? Go ahead. If you drive an ambulance, or a bus, or a train on a Sunday, we're very grateful. You look after our loved ones in care homes. Thank you. I don't think the fourth commandment is really about stopping everything on a Sunday. And frankly, that's more to do with the 16th century where boys could be whipped for playing football on a Sunday and that kind of thing. And the Jewish Sabbath, if we get into it really, was more akin to our Saturday anyway. Now, I think we need a day of rest. It may be a different day for different people. I speak with some experience here, having worked on Sundays and Christmas Day for the last 30 years or so. What we really need to ask ourselves is where we do find rest in our lives. Where we do make space to be still, to be different, to be recharged. If we don't think about it, our bodies and minds will think about it for us as we wear ourselves out. God commanded a day of rest for the Israelites. And Jesus, busy as he was, spoke clearly about the need to rest. Now here in Mark's Gospel we read, Because so many people were coming and going, that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Jesus thought rest was important. 
Look what Jesus says here. Come with me. Not off you go, but come with me. It reminds us of his famous words in Matthew's Gospel. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Rest and quiet are important, but both are found best with Jesus. Come with me, not off you go, sort of take yourself, but come with me, I'll help. I'm reminded of a phrase from Rob Parsons' book, The 60 Minute Marriage. No one, the quote reads, no one ever said on their deathbed, I wish I'd spent more time at the office. Hmm, what does that mean? What does office mean for you? Of course, many actual offices are now in people's homes. What occupies people's time happens in different ways. Office here is whatever becomes so all-consuming that we can't let go of it. We can't let go of it for better priorities, for godly priorities. It's so, so easy to live our lives coming and going and going and coming and doing and doing and doing that we miss the fullness of life, the rest of fullness of life that God intends. Jesus says, come with me to a quiet place and get some rest, not take time out to work elsewhere. Jesus encouraged us to find quiet places to rest. The whole idea of the fourth commandment was to be refreshed. Rest in the plowing season Rest in the harvest, rest even for the land itself. That was where the fourth commandment was going. Farmers and gardeners know the value of resting the land. It leads to greater fruitfulness, doesn't it? Is it so different with people? When we take a break, we come back refreshed. We see things more clearly. After a half-time break, a football commentator will say it was like a different team in the second half. Maybe football isn't the best uh, analogy right now. So, how do we do it? How do we take our time out? How do we come with Jesus to a quiet place and rest? Give yourself one day. One day a week that's different. One day with something special to look forward to. You choose, but make it different. Find a quiet place or a place where you can get your thoughts together. A room, a bench, a view, whatever, wherever works for you. Make Jesus part of your day. Make Jesus part of your rest. Worship, pray, read the Bible or just think. Over the last few months, old habits have come and gone. New routines have sprung up. All the more need then to come with Jesus to a quiet place and rest. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, in these busy moments of our lives, help us to come with you, to find a quiet place to rest, to know the refreshment, the blessing, the renewing, that only you can bring. Send your Holy Spirit right now upon all who are hearing these words that they might know a time of refreshing from you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Great. Hope you have a good uh, good break and a good rest when you can uh, when you can fit it in. God bless you. Take care.